Local pizza chain is being closely watched tonight by the Hamilton County Health Department after racking up dozens of critical violations this summer. Yeah, pretty disturbing. We're talking about two south of Chicago pizza locations. Fox 59's Gabby Gonzalez shows us what's going on. It is tonight's Dirty Dining. The two spots in Noblesville and Fishers racked up a combined 84 critical and non-critical violations in just one week. Now the health department is taking serious action against the owner following an emergency hearing. From the streets of Noblesville to this block in Fishers, Hamilton County health inspectors are busy trying to keep a local pizza shop in line with laws. Just beyond the dining area, inspectors found dozens of food safety critical violations in both kitchens. Molded buns, dirty counters, and flies in the cooking area are among some of the offenses. We count heavily on the managers, the operators, and the owners to perform those food safety procedures within their facilities year round. Problems with each of these spots date back to last spring. The Fishers location got 13 critical and 10 non-critical violations back on March 24th. An inspector finding the pizza oven dough mixer and dough roller soiled. Employees not washing their hands, plus flies and gnats around the kitchen. The health department slapped the Fishers South of Chicago pizza with an abatement order. That means the restaurant was given a written order with a specific time frame to fix its issues or face more serious action. Usually an abatement order takes care of the problem. That was not the case here. Three follow-up inspections later, the number of violations increased to 18 critical and 17 non-critical on July 22nd. The inspection records show the floors and walls in the kitchen were soiled. House flies and fruit flies were observed throughout the facility. A black trash bag was being used to store pizza dough in and the manager on duty was not present. Employees saying the manager did not show up for work. We need the facility to help educate and train their employees and make sure that they're doing things right. Meanwhile, the Noblesville location was facing trouble too. An inspection report from April 27th lists 15 critical and seven non-critical violations for things like employees not washing their hands, chicken stored uncovered in a cooler in the basement, and pizza dough stored in trash bags. The situation escalating when an inspection at the Noblesville South of Chicago Pizza on July 25th led to 19 critical and 30 non-critical violations. Violations included the cheese at the salad bar being kept at improper temperatures, floors soiled in the kitchen, bar, and basement, two pans of heavily molded red peppers found in the walk-in cooler, and sanitizer not set up for the kitchen prep areas. There's issues internally within the facility that the facility needs to address, and we need to help them get to the bottom of that. We would rather have a facility or business, even south of Chicago, to have a good good business and a good operation and very be profitable. We just also want it to be safe for the citizens who patronize the facility. A combined 84 violations in one week for the Fishers and Noblesville restaurants forced the health department to bring in the South of Chicago pizza owners for a hearing on August 11th. The inspector takes it to the point to where they feel like they're not maybe making enough progress forward then they turn it over to myself and our administrator. In Hamilton County, inspectors try to enforce the rules by giving restaurants violations. If that doesn't work, they use abatement orders. The final course of action is a hearing to determine whether a restaurant's license needs to be suspended. The health department usually only holds about six of these hearings a year. South of Chicago Pizza has had two so far in 2016. I'm just trying to reach someone from South of Chicago Pizza and I was given this number. While the South of Chicago Pizza owner Phil Lothamer would not do an on-camera interview, he did talk to me on the phone. He said nearly all the violations have been addressed and there's a new manager at the Noblesville restaurant. During the hearing, the restaurant presented a plan to correct their issues. They say they're hiring older staff that care about proper food safety and areas are being scrubbed and deep cleaned. The true test is still to come during the next round of inspections with more severe steps from the health department if the problems persist. Then we can move into other mechanisms like civil penalties, uh, which are allowed basically fines, and then also maybe potential suspension of the uh, license of the facility. It may a temporary closure of the facility, get it cleaned up.
The owner, Phil Lothamer, told me he's in the Fisher's restaurant six nights a week now to make sure things are going better there. He also says he invited the health department to come back to get another look at both restaurants, but he told us the health department can't do that until August 26. In the meantime, the owner says the health department will conduct a two hour food safety training session with the employees. That's happening later this month. And we want to let you know there are two other south of Chicago pizza locations in central Indiana. This report focused on just the two locations in Hamilton County. We took a look at the inspection reports for the downtown location and Greenwood. The last inspection for the downtown restaurant was in March. For Greenwood, it was in July, and both restaurants passed with no major violations. Back to you.